Ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, here we go, round one. A lot of eyeballs on Brendan Allen here tonight, representing Killcliffe FC in South Florida and the great state of Louisiana. Five of his last six wins have come by rear naked show, and that is something that his opposition is certainly mindful of here tonight. But there's nowhere to rest, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide against Brendan Allen. He's a layered striker as well, working with Henry Hook there in South Florida. A lot of people believe eventually Brendan Allen is going to fight for the UFC world title. Got to get this one here tonight. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Allen's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Now inside the close guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Good series of elbows by him there. It's almost like he's ambidextrous when it comes to throwing these elbows. There is no strike in fighting that could really damage your opponent as much as an elbow. He understands that and is throwing them over and over again. Oh, good ground and pound here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Right to the Deion Belly. Gates great posture and starts draining down punches. And he does not move. He's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Allen. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. Push him up. Push him up. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. How do you get out of harm's way here, I mean, DC? you got to shove that knee, John. Great submission defense. Final seconds here. Still trying to get the submission here. He is fighting for himself. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Back to the jab now. Well, pretty good block there, and an even better counter kick to the body by Pedata. Nice defense to block that punch. Lands to the body there. Oh, now going to the jab. Oh, he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase the mission. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. 
Under three minutes here to go in round two. Setting up an on bar now. He's got it isolated. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, so it all comes down to this for Leon Rocky Edwards, an outstanding boxer. Trains in Birmingham, England by way of Jamaica. And he's a good boy, man. Every bit six feet. He's massive for this weight class. I remember in the first week fight, he trained at AKA with us to work on the wrestling, which allowed for him to defend a little bit. But he does not even look like that guy anymore right. as he steps into this fight with Usman, the greatest welterweight we have ever seen in the octagon. Usman's got the full mount. Nice positional control here. Edwards is in half goal. Oh, nice. Edwards gets up. He is back on the feet here. Solid takedown right there. And now is where things could get really interesting. Usman's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Now he's in trouble. Good as that as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Be first, be first. All right, so once more he takes the fight to the ground. That was his game plan, exactly what he planned on doing coming into the fight. So far, so good. So far, so good. There's no reason to be disappointed. He does a fantastic job of entering, and once he gets to the takedowns, he does a great job of securing top position and really getting damaged off of his opponent. In the half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Mm, nice. Usman's right back to the full mount. Oh. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Edwards. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg. You press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. 
All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now the hammer fist here by Usman. All right, side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here. Oh. Big punches landing here. We'll see if he can work back to his feet. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Knee on belly. He's right. Oh. Big, big strikes continue to land. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the up. Great time on that double leg. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. This is where he wants to be. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Alvarez is right back to the full mount here. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Alvarez is going for the sub here. That is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, so now... Oh, 
choke and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're gonna get submitted. He's gotta start throwing down. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. McGregor's in half guard. Oh, good defense, yes. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. to present him a ton of problems. This will be a good one. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Emelianenko. Oh, nice elbow from the top. Notice how loose his arm was when he threw that. He's doing a great job of finding openings to land these nasty elbows. Try to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Oh, right into Mount. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially... Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Changing the position. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Yep, got to be very careful there. Emelianenko's in half court. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit. Tyson's going for a choke. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Elbow. In the half guard. Tyson getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, setting up for a finish here. Oh, yeah, he's got him. Just sit tight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission stop. there. Just as the horn sounded, safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. All right, so there's the end of the round, the story. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Strong hook lands. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Now goes in and... Secures the takedown. 
All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and stuck it. You gotta be kidding me, he's out. Oh, nice job to sort of torque his body full throttle into that elbow. That was nasty, John. What a massive elbow from the top position. It's the elbow there. Oh, nice combination of elbows there on the clinch by Tyson. guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up, he throws them across the body. He just has a variety of elbow attacks. Ooh, elbow from the bottom lands to the head. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. All right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys going back and forth on the ground and ultimately he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity well until his opponent adjusts you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one dc but you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber this guy's too good and as you see his opponent looking lost this is what you expect he is that good in this singular skill you got on four ounce gloves take this dude down don't box him he's too good at it Emilian echoes in half guard now. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Seconds winding down in round two. Nice defense. Good round. All right, let's take a look back at some. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. Big power shot there. And yet another hook connected there by Maybe the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. On a massive uppercut All right, so an opportunity. He goes by the bullets. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finish in that box. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key. Oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Understanding the transitions. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Emilianenko. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. That's it pretty deep. He's up. What's the missing defense on this play? Great defense by the defensive fighter. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the last punch, so look for a submission attempt. Millionenko's has got full mount now. 
beautiful transition. All right, so Emilianenko is looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut, try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. I don't even want to fight no more, but I, I do love uh, a little damage. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Well, maybe you'll advise to be competing off your back, but he's landing. Hey, stop. All right, so as many expected, this fight goes the distance, but a lot of action in there, particularly when it comes to his offense. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we are back inside Toyota Center, Houston, Texas. And it seems like every time the UFC comes here, something seems to be What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances. From this position. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Silva Lance Flush. Right on the ball. And everything's landing with Silva's power. <laughs> nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. That's right back up. seems to be on his way out of the fight. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Akalayev's <laughs> bleeding from the mouth now. He cut there. He didn't like that right there. Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. <laughs> Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be in the last minute stand. Massive flying knee. Big left hand there inside. Oh, rocked him. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Hey. In the night. 
under a minute now to go. Oh. That's it, now for an on ball now. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish on balls. show you the highlights now from that previous round of which there were a lot. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive push to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, there it is. Can't say we didn't see it. He can't even stand. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Knee to the body. Oh, he lands the flying knee. Whoa. Back to the feet. a huge strike and then just starts rubbing it in. He's feeling so good and loose that he's able to land and then shoot. Oh. They're going out of here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. What a fight! He comes forward with a flying knee just missed hitting the target flush. He was able to get that one blocked. Oh, he's oh, he's right very close to the right finish down. here. That will go! Jeez Louise! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no chance. Special about me, you can already tell the energy is different. Confidence is at the highest level, I don't ever see it different. 
try me if you want to guarantee though you gonna wish you had it that's a war that you can never win but hey i like the optimism giving over half my life to this i think i made a good decision trust my gut i hear it talking then i know it's time for me to listen mastermind consistent matching my commitment that's not realistic hey feature presentation what they came to see i open up the curtain oh my pandemonium is showtime got their noses up i know why jealous of me cause the flow now Ready to fight? Ready. Good. An MMA pioneer of sorts, the underground king, Eddie Alvarez, back at it tonight. He turned pro back in 2003. Not afraid to get you out of there by knockout or submission. Most of his pro wins, though, have come by knockout or TKO. Eddie Alvarez, not afraid of a firefight. We'll see if that's what we get tonight. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Hook shot is to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Alvarez. Or he is now dealing with a cheek cut. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this. Alvarez gets the double leg takedown now. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big body kick. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. That left hook was nasty. Fourier's eye was starting to swell now. Side control now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Got a right hand there from the King of Lafayette, Louisiana. Dustin Poirier, Mike Brown there in the corner has really honed Dustin's all-around game. And he certainly finds himself. Oh, nice double leg, yes. He passes the half. Alvarez is back in full mount. Posture's up now and lands a devastating shot to the head. Huge elbow there. And back to his feet. Oh, a big left turn. Oh, just open it up on a dime. Boom. Big jab. Oh, that was a really nice kick down. Gets back up. And he's got a big shot. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear chokes in this Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheeks. All right, so there's the end of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. That take down this time beautifully. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. That was a slick transition. 
He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. He's gonna choke him. There it is. He needs to work on his position. Yeah, Paige and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips. Facing and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. And there it is again. Targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You go down all this damage. Might as well, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go off the shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think he'd like so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking fit with unbelievable wrestling. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stick. 30 seconds to go in the round. Poirier's eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Starting to swell shut, and that is going to compromise his vision as this fight continues. All right, that's the end of round number two. Stop. Ready. Ready. All right, here we go, third and final round. Alvarez gets in the clinch. So nicely done with the trip there. Poirier gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for a lot of Flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got it. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Every champion Eddie Alvarez well-rounded guy but most of his pro wins have come by way of knockout and oftentimes it's just the experience that ends up an advantage for the underground king he's fought Japan Canada Costa Rica Russia yet another big opportunity in front of Eddie Alvarez tonight oh stuffs the takedown without issue 
Just out of range with the big right hand. Alvarez gets lit up by that straight punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice punch by Alvarez. Oh, the hook lands. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He lands a big knee to the bottom. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cover. Oh, that's the biggest shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, look at that. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Not a on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. It's blocked. Oh, oh landed some big shots, too. That's a right hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, do it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Back inside the arena now we go in.